cute. Okay, if you could check out tarveracademy.com, I'd really appreciate it. And also check me out on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. My name's Tyler Tarver. You know how they work. All right. Don't, also, don't forget to subscribe to this. Okay, quit promoting your... What is this? Promotion 101? No, it's math. Let's learn. Okay. So, it says, using a digital thermometer, every morning at 8 a.m. for five days, the scientist measures the temperature in degrees Celsius of a lake. The temperature readings are 10.6, 9.2, 9.1, 10.8, and 10.3. Okay, before the temperature measurements are numerically summarized, scientists discover the digital thermometer used is off by 0.7 degrees. Which of the following is a true statement that can be made about the scientist's data? Uh, the data unreliable? Well, let's look at that. Is it reliable? It's off by 0.7 each time, as far as we know, so therefore it's not that it's... Well, it is unreliable because it's not telling you the right amount. So, maybe. Okay. Uh, the data are imprecise. I think that is more correct than the other one. With unreliable, you would say that it's not going to tell you the same thing every time. You can't rely on it to be consistent. Um, I think imprecise is more correct because it's not the precise temperature. Um, so I would say that's more correct than the other one because a lot of these questions, it's which one's more correct. So right now, B is more, most correct. Uh, the data are inconclusive. No, they got all the data, so inconclusive means that you didn't get all the data you wanted. He did. He got the data every day. Okay, and the last one is the data are inaccurate. So, we need to look at the two questions, two possibilities that we have left that we haven't ruled out because we knew imprecise felt more correct than the other two. All right, um, inaccurate. These are not accurate. These are not accurate readings. We know it's off. That was weird. We know it's off, okay, by 0.7. Imprecise. Precise means um, how specifically correct the answer is. What is the word I'm looking for? Uh, precise, it's the, the way, the amount that it's repeatable and reliable. That's, that's the best way to say it. It's imprecise if it's not repeated reliably each time. These are repeated and it's reliable. They're all similar. There's nothing like crazy. He got correct things. It's just off by 0.7. So he didn't get correct things. So it's by far the answer is D, the most inaccurate, because accuracy means that it is correct. So our answer is that this data is inaccurate. All right, It's really just something you got to break down and look at your best answer. And we got that. Hey, thanks for showing up. Give me a subscribe and check out TarverAcademy.com. Pizza? Yeah, spoiler alert, that was a pancake, not pizza. Check out TarverAcademy.com for full math lessons. Check me out on Facebook at Tyler is okay. Um, got my Twitter. You can shoot me a picture of whatever you're working with. I'll try to work the problem for you. And then I've got another YouTube channel where I don't do as much math. If you could, please subscribe to this channel. And tell your friends, or don't, just subscribe quietly and never tell a soul. And then you're like, that's too much math, brah. I don't care about that. Well, check out the other YouTube channel, okay? It's 13 Evil Shenanigans. You're like, I can't spell shenanigans. It's okay. Just go to this one. Or just type in swordhorse.com, and it'll take it straight there. Unless I didn't pay for that, and then it went away. And it's like 30 years in the future, and you're my kid. <gasps> Inception. That's not how that works. Okay, stop talking.